Hey guys, Mix Media Girl here. So today I felt like doing a triptych, and that's just three canvases that go together. They don't have to, it doesn't have to exactly flow from one to the next, but they're gonna go together. These are all nine by 12 canvases, and I'm using the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. This is pouring paint that's ready to go out of the bottles. You can get it at Michael's. You do not mix anything with it. You just use it right out of the bottle. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some white. Now I use about one ounce of paint for every 16 square inches. So I do need about 20 ounces for these three canvases. And so I'm going to have to refill my bowl more than once. This is a lowly Vefe silicone bowl. They're amazing. I got a silicone mat under here too. I just peel the paint right out when it's dry and I can use that in other projects and don't have to wash anything. No waste. They're awesome. Links for those will be in the description. I'm using a bunch of warm colors today. And this bowl, I think I said already, but this bowl is only about eight ounces. So hence why I will have to refill it more than once to get coverage on the canvas. So while I am using all these warm colors, I am gonna also throw in a hint of phthalo blue because I really love blue. <laughs> and then I'm also going to throw in just a smidge of black. And by the way, guys, you can get these from Michaels in these little containers. It's kind of like a sample, like they come in a, like a kit. You can't buy these containers one, one at a time, but you can buy a whole set of them. And if you use your Michaels coupons correctly, it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> so I usually get the bigger bottles though. They are not the cheapest paint, but you know, you pay the price for having it pre-mixed and they can have some really cool effects. Um, they, these paints have a lot of depth. They dry super shiny and they're just gorgeous. So I really love these paints. But for certain techniques, they're definitely not great. All right, there's bowl number one. And it's funny because I didn't hardly put any blue in there, but it really took over. So I'm going to go much more warm on this next one with even less blue, if any. There's still blue in my bowl, so I might just kind of keep that. Okay, definitely more red on this next one. And I'm going semi-fast just because I don't want too much paint to leak, leak out the sides while I'm doing this. Just top that off with a little bit more white. Okay. I might be able to get away with just two bowls and maybe some extra paint around the sides. We'll see. Okay, this is actually um a technique just called ribbons. It's very simple and it gives you some really, really gorgeous lines. All right, I am gonna fill up just a little bit more here. I wanna make sure I have totally enough paint and that's also came out to be a bit more yellow than I wanted on that one. Sometimes it's a little hard to get the right combination of colors. And I think I will put some more blue in this cup as well. I also do have some metallic white. I'll go ahead and throw that in here. It's a really pretty pearl color. And let's do a bit more orange. Okay. All right, this is definitely plenty of paint at this point. Actually, too much paint, probably. <laughs> I got a little excited. Okay. 
All right. Now, if you can, on a triptych, I generally try to tilt them together. Tilting three canvases at once is not very easy, though, unless you have them attached. I'm going to give it a... Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I can't say I didn't try. All right. So I am going to separate them. And then I'm going to just tilt one at a time. But be mindful with my tilting. Because I still want them to go together. And I can always come back and tilt this a bit more after I've tilted the other ones. So. And I'll show you on the close up what I mean by the depth here. And it's really hard not to, I mean, I need to make sure not to drip on the other canvases. I love this paint for tree rings and ribbons and vases. It makes beautiful vases. Go a little bit more this way. Okay. And now the third one. And this paint also makes the best runoff designs for like jewelry and stuff. So that paint on my mat, once it dries, and video coming up on this really soon, but once it dries, I just peel it off and I use it in other projects. Those are called paint skins. And this paint makes some of the best skins. Just as a note, I don't work for Michaels. <laughs> I get nothing um, for telling you guys about this paint. I just really like it. All right. So I'm going to clean up the sides a little bit and then let this sit and see what else may develop or move around. This paint doesn't tend to change as it dries. So it should dry exactly like this. And it doesn't really develop cells either. So it'll just be like this. But we'll come back in just a minute for a close-up. All right, we're back. So as I was saying at the beginning here with the triptych, you can see that see that wine that white line that goes through it. Well, it doesn't perfectly match, but the paintings all still flow together, and obviously the colors go together, so they still work as a set. Let's do our close-up. Right. So this is the first one on the right. I am definitely digging the bright colors in this. And you can kind of see the depth over here. And love the green over here that I got. Didn't put any green in there, but put blue and yellow, so that gives me green. And here is the one on the left. And then the whole beautiful set. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Check the uh, description for all the materials, and I will see you next time.